Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video kind of talking about level design in general a little bit since I haven't gone over any of that yet. I know people have been requesting a series on how I go about creating my levels and my environments and I thought I would just talk a little bit about uh, the thought process that goes through um, the game worlds that I create. Now the first thing that I start off with is just my base. So when I when I um, talk about base, I just mean like the base, uh, the the ground in general. What I'm going to do with that. So I'm going to decide if I want a flat ground or if I want to use terrain to uh, adjust it in whatever way. And some people like to do like just top down and block out their paths using um, the terrain and stuff. For this game, I decided just to do um, flat ground just because. I didn't want it, it to be too complex when enemies are firing at each other or attacking each other. When you have to calculate in um, different hills and stuff like that, the attacks could get messed up in a way. If you're trying to fire at another player and it just goes off into space and it doesn't follow the train at all, it might get a little confusing. So for this game, I'm just doing flat train and that's the reason behind it. Now you can see there's some... Um, obstacles here that are on another level and I'm trying to keep them as flat as possible. I'm going to throw in a couple of paths that lead up to it but try keeping this area somewhat flat. I might have to do a little bit more programming to get it to work correctly when I'm firing at another player. Maybe I'll just make it so it follows the path of the player but for certain attacks I want it to um, just be able to yeah follow the train height and be able to hit the player. So maybe I'll do some raycasting and throw it directly on the ground if you're if I'm doing uh, some kind of other spell or ability that's AOE related. But yeah, that's what I do for the train depending on what game I'm working on. And we can also go into a little bit about the level itself. Now you can see here that after I get everything laid out how I want it, I start creating just a center area of how I want the whole entire level to look. So you can see over here there's nothing, over there there's nothing. Just one specific area that's very detailed and from there when I get all the stuff looking how I want it to I'll branch it off and I'll create new areas with a couple of different assets and reuse these assets throughout the level. But for now I want to get it looking how I want it to be and get the actual level layout exactly how I want it. So when you're starting out you want to block out the area with objects that are probably not textured yet just to get an idea. So like right here this isn't textured. In the beginning some of my stuff wasn't textured that I laid out and when I um, was happy with how it looked I went in and textured it and um, reset it in the level. And yeah, that's my basic way about going about doing things. So I'll lay out like these trees here how I want um, just get an idea for where the path is going to be and lay out stuff to create the path or I'm just talking about this game in general and then from there I want to add some detail onto the level so I added grass planes I did little planes for flowers I added in some other plants um, different objects and stuff like that and from there when I see it's looking pretty good in game I had my animator go in and actually animate this different stuff moving around so these plants will slightly sway like there's wind and stuff uh, going through the level and so that'll give it just the fine little details that you want in a game to make it a little more realistic now I could go into other things like color theory and how I blend in stuff to my my games to make it look good. There's different color palettes you can use. Most of the time I don't use too many color palettes. I just, you know, put stuff in there that looks good or breaks it up a little bit because there's a lot of green in here, but there's a lot of uh, pinks and oranges and different colors to uh, break up that green. And then purples for the or purple for the trees and such, and uh, the mining ore crystals and different things like that. So yeah, that's pretty much my thought process that goes behind every game that I make. 
I could go into more detail if people want me to on different things um, concerning game development. Maybe you want to know how I draw up my levels, how I draw up my objects, and how I go about creating the different assets that I put in there, or stuff like that. A lot of the time it just comes straight from my mind and I just uh, speed model the different things in here. Like, I'll use a, like a little reference of how to get a certain shape, but for the most part most of my objects are just from experience and just kind of winging it, trying to get it to look good. But yeah, most of these objects in here for the uh, foliage is just planes that I use. Like if I go behind it, you can't see anything because it's only one-sided planes and stuff like that. So I guess I could go in here and show how the level looks so far. We can see different little assets, how they look. So since I made it one-sided, I have to kind of angle my objects just so the camera can't see behind it so they don't disappear, so everything's angled. But yeah, it gives you a basic idea of what I do to create one specific area, and from here, once I get more done, I'll start laying these objects out throughout the entire level, once I get a level layout for what I like. So, yep, that's the basic thought process behind all this.